Hey guys, today I wanted to share a story. Um, it is around the holiday season, so I wanted to tell you guys what I'm grateful for, what I appreciate, and to say thanks to all my subscribers and my Patreons. Now, before we begin, I wanted to start with the story first and then segue into why the story molds this channel. In high school, I went to high school, I graduated in 2005, I went to a very Republican, very uh, conservative neighbor like high school it was extremely I was one of two Asian people um, in my grade and probably one of maybe 10 or 15 at most in my whole high school my high school had a lot of people we're talking about I think my graduating class was 500 600 so being two out of 600 is a very small percentage and I loved anime uh, I also had friends who were popular and they always told me don't watch anime, don't read manga, don't um, play Magic the Gathering, don't do that stuff because again this was back way back when it was before it became mainstream. Now Magic is more mainstream, now video games is more mainstream, no, now anime, now every single city with like more than a hundred thousand people has its own anime convention now but back then no way maybe there's one anime convention San Diego Comic Con but even back then, they would call them comic conventions, right? Not an anime convention. So that's the high school I went to. And it obviously was very difficult for me to uh, make friends in that high school, given my interests were so different. And I really interested in drawing anime, and I made my own manga for a senior project. I wish maybe I'll, if I find the files I'll share here, it's actually on the web. Then I went to college, and college was totally different. Um, NYU has a lot of Asian students, um, and I was able to join a few Asian communities, but more to the fact I taught 14 classes uh, in chemistry, which were clinics, recitations. I taught over 500 students. I did 14 orientation sessions, and that was pretty crazy because you're always on stage um, in front of large groups, and you're doing a comedy act or a a dance off or something like crazy and I have videos of those and I have pictures and slowly I guess the best way for me to summarize it was when you're not popular in high school and when you become very popular in college you don't you devalue some of the stuff that you should put your value on and that's primarily your family and your close friends because you're like oh I'm super popular when I went to grad school I went to a pretty good grad school as well I was very popular and um, not popular I was a leader in grad school. I was leader of multiple groups, including my fraternity. But the and the grad school was like 600 people, so like, you know, that's a small group of people anyway. But to summarize, I today I have 4,500 Facebook friends. I have a Twitter of 10,000. Google sends me free stuff at least once a month, if not twice a month, if not. I've had a month where they sent me four times. Four times they shipped me free stuff and that month will probably be this month as well so I think that's a record for I go to Dave and at the end of the day all of this is kind of what relatively meaningless to me because yeah you have 45,000 Facebook friends yes I have that many yes I have like 5,000 pictures of me hanging out with them but what does that mean like are they do I still talk to all of them today no I have 10 friends I love to death. We had Friendsgiving. I'll have some pictures of Friendsgiving. I won't include them in the pictures, but you can obviously assume what we're doing. Uh, we go to Dave and Buster's once a month. Uh, not everyone makes it every single month, but you try your best. Uh, we do play magic together. Uh, some of us play magic. I think out of the friends, uh, about two, two, two of my other friends out of the 10 play magic, uh, and they're actually two females. So none of my male friends in that group play magic, but my two out of the five female friends in that group do play magic and they're they're pretty good. I mean they beat me all the time. Like I'm not actually great at Magic the Gathering unless I'm playing like a net deck then I can win. Um, but anyway what I what does 18,000 subscribers mean to me? It means a lot less than you would expect. I would much rather have I'd much rather act and behave as a small channel. No sponsors, no networks, no money issues like when you become bigger people do give you throw you money to do videos that that's absolutely true that's i since i've been over 10,000 i get an offer to 
of money or a gift card. Mostly it's, it's actually gift cards to Amazon or Steam. I don't know why anyone would want to give me a Steam gift card, but it happens. And it's very easy to say, yes, okay, here's a little bit of money. But for me, because I work, I own my own company, uh, it actually costs it, the return on taking that money and making the video and coming off as not so real, uh, not worth it because this is a hobby. Again, I said in my Patreons, we lose money every single month. You can ask the Patreons and they get a accounting report every month, which I they don't ask for, I give it to them. And we've lost money every single month. Last month we lost $2, which is probably one of our better months of not lo of losing money. Meaning I pay money to make sure the Patreon operates smoothly and people get the stuff that they should get. I treat this as a hobby. Um, I treat this as something I enjoy doing. I don't, there's no like editing of my videos that much. There's no retakes. It's just me with a camera talking about magic. That's it. At most we have like an image <laughs> and we didn't have that until like recently. Uh, so I've really enjoyed having you guys and you know on this journey with me and I we will continue but we will always keep you know our core principles aligned and it took me a while to figure out on this channel because I did want to be a big channel I did want to get sponsorships I did want to make money from this YouTube channel but just like I from college and grad school and high school and to life now you realize that's not necessarily the correct path. Yes, you can make more money. Yes, you can be more professional. Yes, you can do all this stuff. Yes, you can make money from Patreon. Yes, you can you know, create high quality videos or script your videos or any of that stuff, but that's not what I've ever wanted. I never wanted 4,500 Facebook friends. I've never wanted 10,000 Twitter. Like, I don't even use my Twitter out of disgust for like how little interactivity I can give everyone. I just auto post on my Twitter and I don't, I don't use it. I haven't used that Twitter account for like over six months outside of auto posting. So that's why I am very grateful to you guys uh, for understanding that we're never going to be a big channel. We're not going to behave like one. And that's why, because that's not what I want to get from YouTubing and that's not what I want to get from life. I would much rather make videos that I want to make. I would much rather have my own opinions. Every single bias on this channel should be my own. It shouldn't be someone telling me to say this stuff or someone giving me free product so I can say stuff that's good about them. Anyway, happy holidays guys. <laughs>